I was born in Cuba in 1952. As a child, my father almost took me everywhere with him. We're like from the Riviera Hotel in Havana to the baseball games to everywhere. So my memories of Cuba were the beach and uh, horsemanship and jumping. I left Cuba in the 60s with my family. We went to New York. Why, and then in high school, I used to be with a group of kids who were also Cuban. One of the kids would always beat me up. And I didn't realize why. And it was this anger that this kid had, and he used to call me faggot. And I didn't notice that I was doing anything wrong. I mean, I had a girlfriend. I was doing everything that was supposed to be. I was married. I got divorced. After my dad died, then my mom became very ill, and she, before she passed away, she said she had something to tell me. And she said, well, when you get divorced, your ex-wife, and I have to tell you because I don't want to die with you with this, but she called my parents, and she told them that they have raised a faggot. And my father's answer was, whatever my son is, he's our son, and we love him. And I learned that it's not the fittest who survive, that is, those who adjust. And that's what I have worked so hard to adjust to who I am and to adjust after being HIV positive since 82. I was working in New York on the fashion industry. I worked as long as I could without telling anyone, but it got to the point that it became so expensive. The injections helped me, and I brought my platelets up. When I did my taxes, it was $55,000 of my salary that went to infusions of injections. I became disabled and sat there, and I had no idea what I was going to do. And in order for me to keep my sanity, I had to do something, and that's when I started to paint. So I took it as a therapy for my well-being. I came here to Palm Springs and it was like I had to readjust to the slower life and I had to readjust or anything, but then it gave me time to learn to be by myself, to enjoy being by myself. I had to just do what I like and that will keep me alive. Mm -hmm. 